Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial and as you saw in the title, in this tutorial I will show you how to rig your character using Auto Rig Pro and this is actually pretty easy. So let's get started. Alright, how do we begin? Well, first of all, we need to go to the Autorig Pro plugin tab, and then we need to go to the drop down menu and click on Autorig Pro Smart. And then you can see get selected objects, but we haven't selected anything. So let's select our model. So what's important when it's come to when we select our model? What I usually do if I have um, a code like this, I do not select this code with it because I what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent that code afterwards and I'm going to add a cloth sim to that because if I would rig the code using Auto Rig Pro, it would deform it. So we're not going to do that. So let's hide this and also I'm going to do this to the hair so let's hide the hair too. I'm also going to do this to the crown so let's hide that too. So we have this basic mesh model. All right, now we can let me quickly move the lights to another to another collection all right now we're talking now let's just select uh, every every single of the things that we need to rig as you can see I've selected them now we just click on get selected object and then you click on full body and then we will be able to use the order rig smart so what's that it says add a neck so we're going to add a neck and we're going to add a chin oops I'm gonna add a chin we're going to add some shoulders we're going to add some wrists and we're going to add the spine root wait come on add the spine root and we're going to add the ankles and then we could go and create the rig now but i also want a facial rig so what i do for that is just i click on facial setup all right now i get these things in the edit mode, I just need to align them to the face. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Material Preview, and let it load a bit. Alrighty, mighty, the textures are missing. <laughs> let me let me do that real quick. Alright, I got the textures applied now. So what we're going to do is let me quickly change this from scene lights. Yeah, all right. Now as you can see, we have this eyebrow thing. So we need to align this to the eyebrow of our model. And we can do, and we need to do the same things for the eyes too. All right now we have done this. We still need to do this thing for the nose. And as you can see, this—it's not actually. It's mirroring the thing, but it's not. It doesn't fit on this part. Don't worry about that. It's still going to work. And we need to align this to the nose crunch jaw and this is going to be the nose so just quickly align that to the uh, this is going to be for the ears not for the nose just quickly align align that to the ears now we need to do this do the mouth real quick doing a quick and dirty work on this because i um, already have this freaked so we're just doing that for you for you guys All right now are we after we finish we still need to select the eyes and it already selected for me but we can choose between one eyeball or two eyeballs like if you have if the eyeball the two eyeballs are one object or if, if you have two separate eyeballs so i would do that we press on tap to exit the edit mode and then we can select our both eyes i already did that like i already selected the left eyeball and then the right eyeball and after we're done we can just click on go and it's going to create a skeleton for us for the body and for the face face so as you can see it has created the rig so we can now go through the rig and check if everything is perfectly aligned before we go and parent it so usually where it fails is the fingers but as you can see for this model it didn't fail but if it if it fails for you what, what you can do is let's say let's say the fingers are completely weirdly aligned like this what you can do now is go press on one to get on the side view and then you can just select the bones that are wrong and align them back and do that for both of the hands and now if we would still check it it still looks like shit so click on seven to go on the top down view so we can align this align it on this side of view too so usually what i would say now like you see it it, it fits on both views if it looks good on both views, then you're then you've done it good. All right, it looks good on both views, so we can go with this and use it. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to match this to a rig. So we're going to press at tab to exit the edit mode, and we're going to click on match to rig. As you can see, it created a control rig for us, but it doesn't move with the character. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to parent this in onto a model. So we exit it using control on tab to exit the pose mode. And then we select the uh, select the things we need to parent. Like I said, I'm not going to parent the coat, the hair and the crown. So just let me select everything that we, I'm going to parent. And now let's select the rig. And now we go to skin settings and then we just click on bind. This can take a while depending on how many polygons your model has, but usually it doesn't take that long. And sometimes when you have too many polygons or vertices on the model, Auto Rig Pro is not going to work for that. I once tried it with an Iron Man model and they just couldn't work because the Iron Man model was so highly detailed. So I had to put a Decimite modifier on it to make it a bit more low poly. So just, just a side information about that. All right. It's rigged, and if we would take a look at it, we can see that we can move it. But you see, I forgot to parent the head. I forgot to parent the head. All right, let me select the head again. Alrighty, my dear. After another test, uh, after another rigging phase, it's fairly done, and we can see it moves with our body. All right. All right. Now we have our character rigged. So what do we do now? We can see that we only have that we also have a face face rig see it works just fine we can go up with the eyebrow do everything we want we can even we could even open the jaw but my model doesn't come with a jaw so I can't open it just no nope. because I don't have a jaw model inserted you can see I can adjust the lips make her smile all that stuff you know I'm gonna do this do this yeah it doesn't even have I doesn't even have teeth you know you need to have a job on but you can see it works the facial model works the face the face brick works and also the body works so how do we apply this the other part like the waist you see or, uh, sorry like the cloth at the coat so how do we do that we just select it and then we select the rig control tab and then if we select this spine bone here uh the spine bone uh, this sorry yeah the spine bone and then we just click control p and click on bone and now we should be able to see that it works it just moves with it so but it doesn't deform right so for that what, what it comes in handy is actually cloth simulation so we already have a we're going to create a vertice that's called this cloth and then let's just go to the white paint mode uh, sorry go to the edit mode select every vertice click assign and go to the white paint and then let's put this up to 0.0, .0 uh, 2.2 now we just draw a line. Oops. Then let's draw a line like this. We have cloth sim. And now we would just let me do a quick basic animation. Like this location. Go down. And now if we scroll down. Oops. The one. So I don't know why it does that anyways. So now it should move down. Alright. Now we go to the clo cloth panel here cloth panel and then we go to the cache select the cloth cache and bake it and now if we would replay it you can see it moves but you can see that it's colliding so how do we fix that it's actually pretty easy we're just going to add a collision here we need to collision put down the damping in a thicker outlet and then we just bake it again and it should work yep doesn't collide and there it is that was the video on how to use auto rig pro if you still have any questions write them down in the comments or if you want to directly talk with me just join the discord server link in the description so we can directly talk and even the community could help you so i don't have to be online every time to help you because i have a lot of friendly community members on the discord server so thanks for watching see you in the next video